I'm the Rules Girl, and this is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noreau, an extraordinary game of English magic for two to four players. In Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noreau, players take on the role of an exceptional magician while traveling across Europe, attending dinner parties, and meeting influential personalities of the 19th century. Players also learn and increase the limits of their own magicianship in order to defeat the gentleman with the thistle-down hair and become the greatest magician of the age. You win the game by having the highest magicianship at the end of the game, earned by completed feats of magic, books of magic, your pupil, and any spells granting magicianship. Players start the game with a hand of cards and must balance their social engagements while developing their magic prowess. Invitation and introduction cards can be used on their corresponding location for their abilities, or discarded for elements you've studied, or those elements depicted on the current card of Marseille. Invitations represent social events around Europe and grant extra introduction cards and feats of magic. Introductions represent important people of the era and grant players prestige, which determines player turn order and unlocks special connections for powerful passive abilities. Element tokens are used to complete the requirements of feats of magic. When doing magic, players can use books of magic to change specified elements to a different element or even duplicate it. Completed feats of magic grant magicianship towards your endgame score, as well as a one-time use spell. Each player also has a player board, which shows the six actions they can take, as well as the six connections they can make over the course of the game, which unlock special abilities. To start a round, move the year token to the next space. Then, reveal the new card of Marseille and move the fairy token forward this many spaces. This determines the new overall strength of the fairy. Finally, discard this book of magic, slide the other two towards the newly empty space, and reveal one new book of magic. Now, players take their turns, starting with the player furthest on the prestige track. Players complete these parts of a turn in this order. 1. Choose an action or still the waters. 2. Visits. 3. Do magic. 4. Confront the fairy. And 5. Draw invitations and tidy. These are 6 actions to choose from. When you've selected an action, place an action disk onto one of these locations to lock in your action. These three actions allow you to study a pair of the six types of magic, letting you create additional magic elements than only those present on the card of Marseille. Taking the King's Roads allows you to move to any location on the board during visits. To acquire a book of magic, take any one of three available books. Finally, each magician has a unique ability, which can be activated here. Later in the game, these actions will be covered from previous turns. Instead of taking an action, you can still the waters, which pulls all discs back to your action pool. After choosing an action, it's time to conduct visits. You can move your magician pawn to an adjacent location connected by a path up to two times. You may turn it up to two invitation or introduction cards if your pawn is on a location matching them. Invitations let you draw two feats of magic or two introductions, or one of each. Introductions move your prestige disc up this many spaces. If you move past one of these spaces on the prestige track, you may immediately place a disc onto one of your six connections. It's now time to do magic. Discard an invitation or introduction matching one of the elements you've studied or one on the current card of Marseille. Take that element and place it immediately onto a matching space on one of your feats of magic. If you complete a feat of magic, move it to the side and draw a spell card. You can cast the spell to activate its ability or discard it for a point of prestige. If the year is one of these four years, you may now confront the fairy. Total your magicianship between your completed feats of magic, books of magic, pupil, and played spells that grant magicianship. If your total is less than the current strength of the fairy, the game continues. However, if your total is equal to or greater than, you defeat the fairy and the game ends immediately. To end your turn, draw the number of invitations indicated on the card of Marseille and discard down to 5 cards. Play proceeds to the next player on the prestige track who hasn't taken a turn yet. After all players have taken turns, start a new round. The game continues until either the fairy is defeated or the end of the 12th round. 
players total up their magicianship, the same as if confronting the fairy, and the player with the highest magicianship wins the game. Ready to play? Place the game board in the center of the table. Shuffle each deck and place them nearby. Sort the spell element tokens and place them nearby. Reveal three books of magic, four feats of magic, and two named connections, and place them in these locations. Place the fairy token and year token onto these locations. Each player takes a magician board and its matching pawn and discs. Place six of your discs here, and then create a random stack of discs, one from each player, placing them next to the prestige track. Deal two invitations, two introductions, and three feats of magic to each player. The player on top of the prestige stack goes first. If you enjoy Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell, you might also like London, another title from Osprey Games. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking it and subscribing to The Rules Girl for more rules videos.